in this video we're going to show that this volume we are going to show that this volume will have an asymptote along this straight line so let me just illustrate um, so you've got your a here as you vary a the asymptote will, will move accordingly so um, so hang on so to show that this volume has this asymptote we need to show two things we need to show that um, dy by dx Remember, we've seen this before. Um, the parametric equations for this volume is given by this, and we've also seen that um, that on negative one, that on negative one, the denominator will be zero. The denom that on negative one, it breaks down. We've seen this. So as you start here and then move towards negative one, that means you start here and then you move towards as t head towards the negative one, the particle will move along here. And then if if you start here. Because we know dead on negative one, it breaks down. But if you start here and then move and then t heads towards negative one, it, it would it would mean you start here and then you head towards as t heads towards negative one, the particle will move along here. So um, so it, so so dead on negative one, it breaks down. We've seen this. So to show that this volume ha has an asymptote along this straight line, we need to show two things. We need to show that the gradient of this volume um, equals negative one as as t heads towards negative one from the left hand side. So as t heads towards negative one from the left hand side, and also from the right hand side. So so we need to show that it has a dy by dx equals negative one because the gradient of the straight line is negative one. So um, so that's one thing that we need to show. The other thing is um, we need to show that as t as t heads towards negative one, as t heads towards negative one, the particle will act like this straight line. So as t moves towards negative one, the particle will act like this straight line. So, so um, to show that this volume acts in this way, we we would add x to both sides. So that would then give us this thing here, and then and then later on we take the limit as um, as t. Take the limit as t heads towards negative one, and then it, it should act like this. So, so if it acts like this, then it, re it really implies that our particle will act like this straight line as t moves towards negative one. Okay, so so looking at this, so uh, x is given by this, y is given by this. So if we put this into here, and if we put this into here, and then later on take the limit. As t heads towards negative one, then uh, then if if it truly acts like this straight line, then this thing here will be satisfied. Okay, so let's let's put this into here, put this into here. That will then give us this thing here. So same denominator, same denominator, merge them together. That will then give us this. Now take the limit, take the limit as t tends to negative one from the from the neg from the left hand side direction. Then that would then give us blah 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 would be negative a. So so uh, so when you take the limit of this as t heads towards negative one from the left hand side, this thing here does indeed head towards negative a. So so in a way it's telling us that it's acting, it's satisfying this. Now do the same thing. So put um, put um, put put this into here, put it into here. Do the same thing, but this time approach negative one from the right hand side. So do the same thing. So hang on. So do the same thing. Do the same thing, but this time uh, head towards negative one from the right hand side. So so do heading heading from towards negative one from the right hand side would eventually lead us to to negative a. So what that means is this. What that means is. As you head, as t heads towards, as t heads towards, um, as t heads towards negative one, um, as t heads towards negative one, it will act like this straight line, and then as t heads towards negative one from the right hand side, then this volume will act, will satisfy this, meaning it will, it will act like this straight line. As you head towards negative one, it will act like, like this straight line. So we've shown we've shown the first part. Now we need to show the second part, meaning that the, we need to show that the gradient of the volume equals um, negative one. So we we now need to show 
now we need to show that the gradient is um, is is heading towards negative one as uh, as t heads towards negative one. So hang on, um, let me just show you. Let, let me just illustrate. Hang on. So now we need to show that. Hang on. We need to show that dy by dx of this, the gradient of the, of the volume, equals um, equals negative one. Because look, you can see the gradient is negative one uh, towards negative one as you take the if you take the limit as t heads towards negative one from the from the left hand side and from the right hand side. So we need to show that the gradient equals negative one. Okay. So let's continue. Hang on. Hang on. So we now need to show that the gradient equals negative one as you take the limit as t heads towards negative one. So um, so remember we, to to work out dy by dx, we need to differentiate the y, differentiate the y with respect to t, and then differentiate the the x with respect to t. So differentiating this, so use the quotient rule, that would then give us this thing here. So um, so that's this bit here, and then you've got your you've got your divide, you've got your divide, and then dx by dt. Differentiate this. Use a quotient rule. That will then give you this. Now tidy this up. Tidy this up. That will then give you this. And then tie tidy this up even further. And it's blah blah blah. It will take you to to here. So dy by dx is given by this thing. Tidy up. That will then give you this thing here. So now take the limit. Find the gradient as t heads towards. So so dy by dx is given by this. Now take the limit as um, take the limit as as t heads towards negative one from the left hand side. The gradient the gradient will be will be negative one. Now take the limit as t. So so remember dy by the x is given by this. Now if you take the limit as t heads towards negative one, it will um, it it will be negative one. So the gradient so as t heads towards negative one. So as t heads towards negative one, the particle itself would do this. But then, but then this thing here is telling us that um, that the gradient would be negative one. So you can see that the gradient, the gradient is negative one. Now, now looking at this, looking at this, um, well as t as you approach t from the as as t approaches negative one from the right hand side, the particle itself would do this. But then this the y by the x tells us that the gradient would be negative one. So you can see it's a, ne it's a negative gradient. Well, this this shows us that the gradient is negative one. Okay.